well, we got married because like we loved each other. And then I ended up helping him immigrate here. David, don't I do think, that. No, I'm just that, saying that. that. Don't do that. I think you got married because you <laughs> my man was like, yo, this is my ticket. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> to the land of the free. Goodness. Oh he's gonna want to fight me. He's Listen, gonna want to fight me if he sees It's crazy. Shoot. Like in retrospect, you know, you you should know, like I should know better. Yeah. You know, when I go back and think about it, like all the signs were there. <clears throat> You know, and, and not to mention it was an abusive situation. Mm. So that was really why I left. You know, I, I could deal with the unemployment because I was making good money and I was, you know, patient. Um, but it was really the abusiveness that was like my Mental, parents. Mental, physical, physical, emotional. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. How yeah. far in did you see the first side of abuse? Honestly, it was right away. Like dating? Dating, I started to see it, but it hadn't become physical. But as soon as the marriage began um, and he was here, it just took a left. And so I'm thinking, okay, this could just be new. He had just lost his mom, you know, all these different things. And as women, I think we tend to make a lot of excuses for the person that we love, and especially in these types of abusive situations. And you know, I didn't want my parents to be concerned, so I hid it. I even hid it from my friends because at this time I was still finishing up college. Um, I was in my last year. So I was hiding it and just making excuses, thinking that it would change, just thinking that I could do something more to prevent him from getting to that point. But, you know, throughout years of dealing with it and then eventually just having enough, I had to really recognize it was never about me. Like a person who abuses is damaged themselves and they just look for reasons on you to justify their actions, mm. you know? So I should have got out a long time ago, but I had all these babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> and I was he abusive like while you were pregnant? He's a dirtbag. I know. Yeah, here's, here's what I'd like to know, because um, yeah. I've never been in that, scen that scenario, yeah. and I don't think I've really had a chance to talk to a lot of people who have been through it. Like, you, you see this happening over and over again and it become a regular thing? Like I mean, you know, that's the interesting thing. And I'm glad we're talking about this because I'm sure there's a lot of women who are 100%. in it, you know, and or who just got out of it. And I'm so passionate about making sure that they know it's not them. You know, that's the interesting thing is that it, it has its ups and downs, right? So there are moments where everything is rosy and you're like, oh, my gosh, it's finally over. You know, that side of that person is finally gone. And then anything can just make it come back, you know? Like, I've always been good at my job. As I mentioned, I've always been successful. So when I would come home with a raise, for example, it would lead to a whole just issue. Like when I, I remember when I was promoted from making like 80,000 to 120,000, which is a big deal. And I'm only 25, 26. Mm. It just led to this whole situation. And this is when I started really realizing, okay, there's, this is beyond me at this point. Um, yeah. So that's the thing, you know, when, when women and even men, there are some men in abusive situations when they're in it, the reason that they don't leave for so long is because there are periods. It's not always a daily mm. issue. It's like rosy for six months, and then all of a sudden there's an issue. And so you think, well, maybe I just did something to make him or her mad, you know? And you justify it, and wow. then you stay another year. 